The verse for today is taken from Exodus 15, verse 1. It says, I will sing unto the Lord, for he hath triumphed gloriously. So the context of this, if we look at the earlier uh, passages, the Israelites are fleeing from Egypt and the armies of Egypt come out against them. And the Lord opens up the Red Sea and allows the Israelites to cross over miraculously. And then the Egyptian army tries to cross to capture the Israelites. And God allows the waters to come back in and the sea basically just floods the army and the Egyptians die in the waters of the Red Sea. And the Israelites, on the other hand, are miraculously saved. And so here's the context. So as soon as that is over, we see in uh, Exodus chapter 14, we start in Exodus chapter 15. It says, Then Moses and the people of Israel sang the song to the Lord, saying, I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. This is my God, and I will praise him, my Father's God, and I will exalt him. And it goes on uh, in this song, which is recorded there in many verses. So what a example for us. One, we can see what God did to the Egyptians and how he wondrously and incredibly saved the people of Israel. And we can rejoice and praise God for the miraculous way that he did that. It is all recorded for us in the scripture. Two, we can also look at our own lives and think about those things where God has protected us. God has heard our prayers. He has uh, taken care of us, sometimes even miraculously answered our prayers perhaps. Do we thank God for that? Notice, as soon as these events happen um, in the scriptures that they sang this song, they praise God. And we can learn from this the importance of praising God to not take for granted the wonderful things that he does for us. When he answers our prayers, do we take the time to thank him? Or do we just sort of put it off and say, I'll th thank him later on? It's important to thank God, to worship Him, to exalt Him, and to even share uh, with others, testify what God has done for us and in our lives. Not that we're pointing to ourselves, but we want to glorify God. We want to thank Him. We want to worship Him. This is very important. And as we do that, the Lord is pleased because the Lord is looking for those who are grateful, those who are true worshipers, those who truly love him. And the fact is, there's so many things that we can thank God for. And that's uh, one of the things that has helped me a great deal is learning to keep a gratitude journal. So writing down things that I am grateful to the Lord for. And so I will say, thank you, Lord, for, and then write down maybe something that happened that day or a few things that happened that day. And I really thank God for what he has done. And it also helps tune my heart to paying attention to what God has done in my life, in my family's life, how he has answered prayers, how he has worked in the ministry, in the world, for various things that we may be praying about. So I encourage you to look at what God has done and to remember it, to praise God for it, and to thank him and worship him. There are so many things, including things like your breath. The fact is, God is granting you every single breath that you take and every single breath that I take. Do we thank him for that? Do we think about it? 
Let us focus on the Lord and the wondrous things he has done for us. That's just one example, but there's so many others. God bless you.